we're going to look at today is camouflage. Do you know what camouflage means? Yeah. What? Height blend in. That's right. It blends in. Um, um, blend, with, um, blend um, in with the things around. Um, exactly. Um, and a and freezing mask. Um, also like gecko. Just yes. Gecko like. Right. Gecko reading with camouflage. <laughs> they change color. Is that what you were going to say? Geckos? Okay. Well, this is where in the wild. So this says, can you find me? Can you find a little creature on that page? Yep, you found him already. Do you see him? The ladybug up there? Okay, imagine that you're an animal in the wild trying to avoid a prowling predator. What's a predator? It's something that eats another thing. I know, you don't want someone to eat you up, do you? Oh. And so imagine you're the predator. And now you're really hungry looking for something to eat. You would find your little thing, wouldn't you? Well, let's see what's here. Wary eyes, ears are keen, sniff the air, seldom seen, crouching see low in the brush, standing still. What, what do you see? What, oh, what is it? Coyote. Oh, let's see, see this little page turner right here? Look, you are right. What does that say, coyote? The howl of the coyote is a well-known... Have you ever heard a coyote howl at night? Nope. They say, oh, oh, oh! And, and lots of times there's little, like, ten little baby coyotes together, and they all howl at the same time. They, okay, now here's Gray. Uh, I, know, I, know, I know where this one is. You can see that one. Show me. Yes! Grayish, greenish, blackish tree. The colors that you see are colors of me. Grayish, greenish, blackish bark. I'm bumpy and blotchy, part light and part dark. Grayish, greenish, what do I hear? A sound in the branches that's coming too near. Grayish, greenish, blackish, yikes! What if he saw me? What if he strikes? Grayish, greenish, what do I feel? Oh no, he's found me. I'll soon be his Mio. You're right, there he is. That is a gray tree frog. Look at him hanging on. See his little fingers? He can really hang on to stuff, can't he? Yeah, like a tree frog. Exactly. He is. A, oh, spots. Ah, this one's easy. These are easy, aren't they? What do you see? Yeah, <laughs> two little deer. I had deer playing in my yard yesterday chasing each other. We had three of them. Spots, spots, we've got lots. Hot checks, or not checks, or stripes, or polka dots. Not pointy stars, or red race cars. Not rainbow arcs, or great white sharks. In this field of white clover, we're covered all over with spotty white patches so no one can catch us. On weak, wobbly legs, we can't run away, so we'll hide with our spots till we're bigger someday. Because they have such little tiny, tiny legs, they can't run away very fast, so a coyote could catch them. But instead, they hide in the They hope the coyote doesn't see them. And look, <laughs> there they are. Yeah, I, I don't I, I remember what baby deer were called. Fawns, you're exactly right. Silent and still. This one's hard. Did no, you see no. it already? Yeah. Oh, he has big black eyes, doesn't he? Can you see it, Belle? Yeah, there he is. What is it? Mouse. What is that little thing? Mm -hmm. It is Wait, a... Mouse. Let's see what it says. A weasel. A weasel. It's a weasel. Oh, my gosh. Look how long he is. And he's hiding in that grass. Yeah, but he's peeking. Right. But, he, but the rest of his body is hiding underneath. Hiding underneath it. Let's see. Yeah, all we can see is his head. He's a weasel. When we get done reading, we can look over there in the um, dioramas. They have some weasels we can look at. It says, I'm silent and still till I leap out and pounce. Even pray twice my size can't. I can easily trounce. To feast on a rabbit, a rat, or a mole, I stalk it, then capture it deep in its hole. Oh, they're so skinny. See, they can climb in a rabbit's hole and grab a baby rabbit and eat it. Yikes. I wouldn't like that if I were the baby rabbit. Okay, this one's harder. Flitting, darting, zigzag flight, blurry wing beats in the night. Resting outspread, wings of white, blend with birch bark. You found him! Jack found him! Good for you! There he is. See him? Moth! It's a moth. See him on that? See why it's so hard to find him? Yeah, because he's so Good white. eyes, Jack. Let's see what it says about him. 
Moths are nocturnal. Do you know what that means? No. They fly at night. They're awake at nighttime and not in the daytime. It says in England more than a century ago, a kind of geometer called the pepper moth had light colored wings that were peppered with dark specks. And pepper moths hid well on light bark trees, just like that. Okay, speckled treasures. Speckled treasures lie bare upon the pebbled bank, fragile life within. There's something special on, in that speckled place. This one's really hard. What do you see, Jack? What is that? Eggs! It is! Jack found them again. Eggs. Tiny little eggs. Those are killdeer eggs. And guess what? When we were getting ready for the Grimes Farm run one year, there were killdeer eggs just like that right in the middle of the gravel road. And a whole bunch of people were going to come drive on that gravel road. So Farmer Grimes had to get out his posts and put a big little, a big fence around it so no one would drive on top of those little eggs. And about two days later, out popped little baby killdeer and away they went. Good thing Farmer Grimes saved them, huh? Okay, what's here? Motionless on yellow, blooms I hide, oh. blending. Yeah, you spider. found it. It's a spider. Let's see him. Look. He's bright yellow. Have you ever seen a bright yellow spider? No, but oh, oh my god, I've heard of one. He, I, I think that's he, a big one, isn't I it? I think he eats like bumblebees. I bet he does. Yes, yeah, so right. when they come to get get the nectar from the flowers, he sneaks up and he grabs them. Exactly. That's why he's hiding right there. Let's see what it says about him. Some spiders spin webs to trap their prey, and others take mighty leaps and pounce on their prey. Crab spiders sit on the leaves or flowers and wait and wait and wait. And with its powerful forelegs, a crab spider can grab an insect, just like you said. So you are exactly right. Look at that one inside that flower. You can hardly see them. All right, let's see what's, oh, eyes on one side. I taste so delicious, the fisherman wishes. Yeah, you found him. I taste so delicious, the fisherman wishes to catch me and make me his meal. So upward I look in fear of a hook attached to a rod and a reel. I can turn tan or brown as I lie belly down on the seafloor through low and high tide. Even stranger than that, I'm totally flat with both of my eyes on one side. Did you know that? They lie on the bottom and then both of their eyes get on one side. Yeah. That is a crazy thing. That is a flounder. <laughs> yeah, it's funny. It is funny, isn't it? Yeah, it's like a little monster. Yeah. Okay, oh, this one's really hard. Silently gliding, slithering, sliding, in the grass hiding, coiled and cunning. No, it looks like that, but not there. Swift and stunning on a rock, sunning, long and lean, smooth and green. That's it. Look. Oh my gosh, no wonder snakes. that was hard. I love snakes. You do? Look yeah. at him, he's smiling at you. Look, look. At there's a, there's a, look. I know, what's that? Let's see. Oh, he's peeking up through something, isn't he? <laughs> egg. Yeah. Oh, he's coming out of his egg. Is that what he's? Oh, he it's is. You're right. His egg is baby. kind of. It's a baby. You're right. Their eggs are kind of soft. They're not hard like chicken eggs that we're used to. Let's see if we have another one. This one's called Fake Out. I bet it's just like that. Shall we see? Let's see. But oh. with scary surprises. Yeah. Okay. That. We can see him, can't we? He's not a fake out. It says, do you play hide and seek with your friends? Some animals play this game too. They also play dead or pretend to be other animals. People play games for fun, but animals play to stay alive. These tricks help them hunt for prey or hide from predators who want to eat them. Let's see some really weird creatures and how they play fake out. See those eyes looking this way? That's really the back of the frog. Yeah. So the creature might think he's going to um, hop this way, but really he's going to hop that way. Oh boy. The cuttlefish has big eyes and a large head. It has eight legs with tentacles. And flash, this cuttlefish puts on a freaky light show. In less than one second, waves of red and yellow light up his body. The colors confuse the crab, and it doesn't move. 
The cuttlefish grabs the crab with his tentacles and turns off his lights and he eats him. <laughs> so he has kind of electricity in him that turns lights on and it scares his, the person, he, the thing he wants to eat. That's kind of weird. Ooh, look at that long thing. The decorator crab plays dress up. It covers itself in seaweed and pieces of sponge and moss. And this disguise makes the crab look like the, sea, the floor of the sea. It helps the crab hide from animals that want to eat it. The crab changes its disguise when it moves to a different place. This decorator crab uses its claws or pincers, pincers to break off pieces of plants and sticks and seaweed and hooks them in the hairs all over his body. Look at that. He's sticking stuff in his hairs. That's kind of funny. The porcupine fish does not swim fast, so it needs another trick to avoid predators because they could catch up and grab him too fast. So the porcupine fish is also called a blowfish or a balloon fish because it can blow itself up like a balloon. And then this, spines pop out. <coughs> they do, and it's too big to go in the fish's mouth. This porcupine fish or, looks or like... Or too spiny. Yes, who would want to eat all that? He, he can eat, them, but he, he is too big. That's right. Who would want to eat all those spines? Oh, look at him. Oh, here's the frog that goes the other way. This frog does something funny to fool predators. It looks like a normal frog when it's sitting still. And when a bird swoops in, hop, the frog turns around quickly and sticks its rear end up in the air. The frog puffs up and shows big fake eyes. It's called the false side frog. That's silly. So the bird thinks he's going the other way. Ooh, look at him. This toad is also hiding something. He blends into the weeds it, as it rests in the pond and suddenly a snake slithers by and the toad flips over on his back. This toad is called the fire-bellied toad because of its bright red and black belly. So he flipped over so the snake wouldn't eat him. He said it's because he sort of looks like the water and the grass. Oh, look at him. To mimic, means to pretend to be something else. So that's the mimic octopus. Look, he tied himself into a knot down here. He doesn't, here he looks like an octopus with eight legs. And down here he's all tied up. He just looks like a piece of rope or something. This mimic octopus is about to be attacked by a group of damselfish, but the octopus quickly hides in a hole on the bottom of the ocean. It sticks two tentacles out of the hole and waves them around. The octopus is pretending to be two banded sea snakes. The banded sea snakes eat damselfish. So he's pretending he might eat them up when really they would rather eat him. <laughs> he fooled them. Oh, what's that? Um, Sleepy sea dragon. Ha, <laughs> you're right. Look at Yeah, look shrimp. at those funny things. Shrimps. They do look kind of like shrimps. The leafy sea dragon is a fish related to the seahorse. The sea dragon pretends to be a piece of seaweed or kelp. It's leaf-like fins. Oh, his fins look like leaves. He help, it helps it blend in. They're not used to swim. The sea dragon stays very still and waits for food to swim by, and it hardly moves at all except to sway like a piece of kelp. Tiny creatures called krill. That's what those shrimp are. They're krill. Oh, yeah. And they float by, and he gobbles them up really fast. Oh, look at those guys. The saber-toothed blenny. <gasps> look, he has such a big bite. Look what he did to that little fish. He bit him and he's bleeding. The saber-toothed blenny looks like a cleaner fish. Cleaner fish eat bugs that live on the bodies of other large fish. But when a cleaner fish sees a big fish, it does a special zigzag dance to let the other fish know that it can clean it. Because the saber-toothed blenny looks like a cleaner fish, it can play a trick. This blenny does the cleaner fish dance and a larger fish swims up to be cleaned, but instead of being clean, he takes a bite out of him. That wasn't very nice. That would be like if you went in the car wash and you thought that someone was gonna wash your car and it bit the door off. That would be silly. That's a, that's a tricky fish. The caterpillar, he's gonna grow up, but look at, him. Look at his funny face. But for now, it needs to keep from being eaten by birds and lizards. So the hawk moth caterpillar pretends to be another animal. He sees a lizard coming close, and it turns around and wiggles its tail. 
The caterpillar's rear end looks like the head of a viper snake. That's his rear end. He's trying to look like a big snake. <laughs> That's a good trick, isn't it? And look, the lizard decided to go the other way. He doesn't want to get eaten by a snake. So this little caterpillar got away. That is a funny, oh boy, look at those guys. Can you tell which one of these bugs is a real ant? The one on the left is an ant. Yep. The one on the right is a spider. Some types of bugs pretend to be ants so they'll not get eaten. Some ants can bite and sting, so most insect eaters don't want to eat an ant. This spider has an ant-like body. It's called the ant mimic spider. Wow, look at his, look, he's gonna eat something, isn't he? The spider waves his front two legs over his head to look like ant feelers. <laughs> then pow, the spider pounces and eats the ants. What a sneaky trick. Oh, what's that? This, I don't know, this is like, oh, a hognose snake? Yeah, it is a hognose snake. Good job reading. He's playing dead because he doesn't want this bird to come get him. Yeah, many predators will not eat animals that are already dead. So he's pretending to be dead until the bird flies away. And then when the bird goes away, he'll come back to life. He's pretending. Oh my gosh, look at that. <laughs> what are they doing? A dog the thing is thing. Thing. <laughs> the thing yeah. go, falls over when he gets excited or scared. They <laughs> did, they fell over. Look at that. <clears throat> we are not sure why the fainting goat does this, but it might be playing dead, so other animals will leave it alone. See the dogs chasing them and they fall over dead. They're not really dead, they're pretending. <laughs> That's pretty silly, isn't it? Oh boy, those are bats. They're big-eared bats and they swoop around at night, scooping up bugs and they sleep in the daytime. In the winter, there are no insects for the bats to eat, so they have to hibernate. So they hang upside down by their feet inside of a nice cozy cave and they sleep all winter long. Yeah, like bears. Yeah, like bears. These big-eared bats hang together in a group from a cave ceiling and they're hibernating. Animals that hibernate sleep for the whole winter to save up their energy. Hibernating is like playing dead because the animals don't eat or move. The bats will sleep until springtime. That's a long nap. <laughs> yeah. Oh, who's that? What's that? A fox. A fox. What's that? Pinging plover? Piping plover. Uh -huh. eggs. And her eggs. She's afraid that the fox is going to eat her eggs. So look, she's kind of hanging her wing down. She pretends like her wing is not working and she can't fly. So she's trying to get the fox to chase her and go away from her eggs. She doesn't, because the eggs can't run away, can they? No. They just have to sit there. So she's trying to get that fox to follow her somewhere else. She's pretending that she Oh yeah, hurt. like, if you find something da danger that, that's, that could eat a fox, right. she'd stop right there and like, oh. <laughs> She would. She'd fly back to her That's, oh my gosh, what is that? Is that a dead leaf lying <laughs> on the sea bed? No, nope, it's a leaf fish. This fish acts like a dead leaf so it can hide from its prey. It even floats instead of swims. It looks like a sinking leaf. Some leaf fish can change colors to match the leaves. That's a Caribbean leaf fish, and he's resting quietly, and then a small fish swims by and look at his mouth. He's getting ready to gobble him up, isn't he? That's pretty funny. And, oh boy, look at that. Hide and seek. It's a chameleon. They change the color of their skin. It's called camouflage. Yeah, we know that. You knew that, yeah. The panther chameleon is ready for a snack. It spots a fly with his big eyes. The fly does not see the green and brown chameleon hiding on a tree bench and zap, he can stick his big tongue out and get that fly. That helps him. Oh, look at him. He's a white fox. Yeah. In the summer, when the snow melts, the Arctic fox sheds its thick white fur to stay cool and blend in. 
Now the fox is mostly brown and gray, and its fur will change back to white when it's cold. That's when it looks, aren't they pretty when they're white? Yeah, but a white fox wouldn't blend in with the green grass, would it? No, nope. so he has to change. Oh, look at him. He looks like oh, yeah. he's sad. Look at that big mouse kind of turned Oh, I, I, yeah, I've, seen, I've, I've heard about him in my old encyclopedia. You have? Yeah. The horned frog. <laughs> he jumps like that, doesn't he? The she, horned frog sits it has, still. Has, because it has horns on the top of his eyes. That's right. It's hard to see because his brown body and pointed head looks like a leaf. This horned frog rarely moves except when prey passes and look what's going by. Oh my gosh. You know what that is? Yeah, scorpion. It is. A scorpion scurries around and it doesn't see the frog. <laughs> You're jumping like a frog, aren't you? Boy, Suddenly the horned frog hops up and gulps down the scorpion. After the frog finishes eating, it sits still again and waits for more. Would you eat a scorpion? No. Oh, that would be terrible. Oh, what are these guys? That is a caddis worm, a larva-like, worm-like baby insect. Where is it? Is that this thing? Must be this thing. The larva for the caddis fly is called a caddis worm, and it builds a house around himself to hide from predators so nobody could grab him. Look, this one put shells on. This guy put little rocks on, and this guy put grass on. They each, that's like the, like the, who was it, who built a house of, oh, it's the three little pigs. Yeah. One made a house of straw and a house of, what else? Sticks. Sticks. And brick. And bricks. So this yeah. is like the straw, this is like the sticks, and this is like the brick. Yeah, it sure is, because I don't think those fish want to eat all that stuff. So these guys are going to be free. Oh, wow, look at him. <laughs> the peacock flounder is a flatfish. A flatfish can match different patterns on the ocean floor to hide from predators. You are a little toad, aren't you? <coughs> and there he is lying flat down. And look, he's going to eat that shrimp when he goes by. I thought the shrimp was going to eat the flatfish. <laughs> no. <Nope. coughs> the flatfish is going to... Oh, look at that big one. That's a uh -huh. and look how big he is. Oh, oh. Jack, get out of the <laughs> He's eating a bee. Would you eat a bee? No. You wouldn't? Bumblebee. <laughs> a bumblebee. Yeah. I, I think I've seen a movie, um, um, this little movie uh, show bumblebee. thingy, and, 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 and this, this two just eats a bee and like, <laughs> Oh, and he got it back out again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the bumblebee zooms into the center of a big white flower and lands for a drink of nectar, and suddenly the bee is snatched up. A flower mantis was hiding inside the flower. The mantis munches its lunch and then crawls back in the middle of the flower and waits for another one. I guess he didn't mind the bee sting. That, oh, look at him. Sometimes the world around us is not what it seems to be. Many creatures use disguises or play clever tricks. Some are hiding to stay alive, and others are waiting for a meal to go by. He's pretty ugly looking. <laughs> they thought they saw him. Okay, you ready? Oh, look. <laughs> they thought they saw him. Oh, look. Do you think that's all corn? See that corn cob right there? Let's see what it is. Little dark chameleon crept out of the heart of his winter home and moved up onto a tiny branch. Can you see him? Yeah. There he is. Yep. Rain puddles glistened beneath his feet. The wind blew warm over the walls of the adobe. All winter, little dark chameleon had lived safe and asleep beneath the granary where people kept their seed corn. Now insects buzzed over bush and tree, and he was awake. Okay. As he moved on quick, silent feet, he began to forget the sleepy winter dark and felt the joy of the first wakeful light of spring. Eyes half closed, still filled with winter memories, little dark chameleon sat on a brown branch and waited for an insect to find his tongue. And there comes one. He's gonna get his first meal in a long time. A hungry snake watched him. The snake climbed the tree to catch the dark chameleon for his first meal of the spring. Uh-oh, 
he thinks he's going to eat the butterfly, and he thinks he's going to eat the chameleon. Let's see who's going to eat who. But when he got there, everything on the brown branch was brown. Can you see him? Where is he? There he is, yeah. The snake, yeah, there's the snake, and the snake can't see the little chameleon. Yeah, he's like, I he thought I saw him. In the dark, the dark chameleon got away, said the snake, and he slithered off. Little brown chameleon jumped off the brown branch. His feet gripped green leaves, and he hung there. His sticky tongue caught a bug. Oh, he's filling up his tummy. But now he's not by the brown things anymore. Do you think the snake will see him? Oh, an owl flying home to sleep saw the brown chameleon in the green leaves. There he is. The owl swooped down to catch him. Uh-oh, is the owl going to get him? No. Let's see. But when he got there, everything in the leaves was green. Can you see him? He's green. He turned green. Now the owl can't see him. That chameleon turned colors. The brown chamele chameleon got away, hooted the owl, and he flew off. Little green chameleon jumped out of the green leaves and landed on the tan, rain-washed sand. Uh-oh, does he match now? No. Uh-oh, let's see if someone's going to find him. Oh, look. A fox saw the green chameleon in the sand. With pointy ears and hungry eyes, the fox crept toward him. Is he going to catch him? Let's see. When he got there, everything in the tan sand was tan. <laughs> Can you see the chameleon? There he is. The fox can't see him. He doesn't have good eyes like you. The green chameleon got away, yipped the fox, and he ran off. Little tan chameleon crawled up on a ridge of golden rock. Look, he's still chasing something to eat, isn't he? An Apache boy saw the tan chameleon and tried to sneak up and catch him for a spring surprise. Is he going to catch the chameleon? No. Let's see. But when he got there, everything on the golden rock was golden. The tan chameleon got away, said the boy, and he slowly walked off. Can you see him in the golden? Yeah, there he is hiding. Oh, boy. Little winter dark, brown, green, tan, and golden chameleon warmed himself in the sunlight. The snake, the owl, the fox, and the boy all thought they saw him. But little chameleon had his secret. There he is. Nobody sees me, he said, because I'm the color of the world. Can you see him? There's his face. Yeah, but look at his legs. Some legs are the color of the flowers beside him. Look at his tail. Not the flowers, but butterflies. Yeah. Oh, yeah, they're all butterflies, aren't they? Mm -hmm. That's a pretty book. A color of his own. Do you want to sit on your chairs? Does yeah. that feel better? Okay. A color of his own. Let's see what this one. This is about another kind of lizard. Maybe it's a chameleon, too. Yeah, it's a Let's chameleon. see. <gasps> it is. Look at the back. It says a chameleon goes in search of a color of his own. And he finds a friend. A true friend. A true friend, you're right. All right, let's see. Let's get the first pair. Oh, look at all the colors. Hmm. Parrots are what color? Green. Goldfish are red. red. That's not right. That's not right. You are exactly right. Elephants are gray. Pigs are. All animals have a color of their own, except for chameleons. They change color wherever they go. On lemons, they turn yellow. yellow. In the heather, they turn, what color is that? Purple. Purple. And on the tiger, they are? They're striped like the tiger. That's funny. Would you sit on the back of a tiger like that? No. <laughs> he would eat us. He would eat you, yeah. One day a chameleon who was sitting on a tiger's tail said to himself, If I remain on a leaf, I shall be green forever, so I too will have a color of my own. 
Do you think he wants to stay green forever? No. Let's see. With this thought, he cheerfully climbed onto the greenest leaf. And there he is all green. But in the autumn, the leaf turned yellow. And so did the chameleon. Is that yellow? No. Not really. <laughs> kind of. Maybe, maybe a little part of it. Hi, Leo. Later, the leaf turned red, and the chameleon turned red, too. And then the winter winds blew the leaf from the branch, and with it, the chameleon. He got blown over. Uh-oh. The chameleon was black in the long winter night. Oh, boy. Chameleons are not, not happy when they're black. But when spring came, he walked out into the green grass, and there he met another chameleon. He told his sad story. Won't we ever have a color of our own, he said. I'm afraid not, said the other chameleon, who was older and wiser. But, he added, why don't we stay together? We will still change color wherever we go, but you and I will always be the same. And so they remained side by side. They were green together and purple and yellow and red with white polka dots and they lived happily ever after. <laughs> Which color did you like best? Striped. You like striped? What color did you like best? Did you? Red. What color did you like best? Striped. Striped. I like polka dot. That's pretty too.